Hello students, once again welcome to Bholanath Academy. In this video students, we are going to see the question number 6. 300 millimole. Okay students, 300 millimole of ideal gas occupies 13.7 dm cube at 300 Kelvin. Okay students, ideal gas is there and it is occupying 13.7 dm cube. Calculate the work done. What will be the work done when the gas is expand? Okay students, when the gas, until the, its volume has increased by 2.3 dm cube. What will be the work done? Now here is when some condition is given students. First condition students isothermally against a constant external pressure of 0.3 bar. Okay, students. So students, what will be the work done? So students, first question students, when there is a isothermally, only one time it will expand. At the time, what will be the work done, students? So we will use the formula. Since we are in first questions, A students, we are going to use the formula only W work done that is minus P external into delta V okay students because it is about only the isothermally only one time expansion is there students that is why we will we, we are going to use W equals to minus P external delta V now students here P external is given students how much here the P external that is this is the P external students so here students just put the value P external point minus 0.3 bar okay students volume delta V is nothing but final volume minus initial volume okay students so here students since it is a expansion students 37.7 dm cube volume has increased by 22.3 dm cube okay students after the expansion this is the v1 students but difference is given directly they have given the difference delta v this is the delta v students final vibration final is not given so you have to add this understanding so directly delta v is given delta v value is given to you so you just put the value of point 0 0.3 into 2.3 dm cube this is in bar so when you multiply students what happens students this is minus students minus 0 0.3 bar into 2.3 when you multiply students it will come minus 0 0.69 dm cube bar okay students now since we have to convert this dm cube into joule since here is students therefore W is equals to 0 0.0669 dm cube bar is there is students you have to multiply with 100 1 dm cube equal, dm cube bar equals to 100 joule so you have to multiply students 0 0.069 into 100 so it will convert into what joule since students you are knowing 1 dm cube bar is equals to 100 joule that is why I have multiplied with 100 so now whole quantity is going to become students before two digit put the decimal so now it is minus six nine joule okay students here the gas will lose minus six nine joule of energy okay students so this is the work done students now in second question students you have against a constant isothermally against a constant external flow, isothermally and reversibly so at that time we will use w max formula student w max equals to minus 2.303 n r t log of base 10 of because it is volume is the students so you will take the fine final volume upon initial volume that is v1 okay students now here we are going to put the valuations we are going to use this formula because here work done is what isothermally and reversibly so we will use work done maximum work done formula okay students maximum work done formula will be 0 0.2303 nrt log of base 10 v2 upon v1 okay students since what is given to you students here the number of moles is given in 300 millimole okay students 300 millimole is given students we have to convert into mole since it is millimole students we will millimole 300 multiply by 10 is to minus 3 okay students so when you multiply students what happens if you divide by 1000 here 0 0.30 mole will come okay students if you divide 300 by 1000 so it will come 0 0.3 mole so number of moles now you are knowing students are you know temperature you are knowing initial and final pressure here the init initial pressure is given to you here initial pressure is given that is 13.7 dm cube and delta v is given that is 2.3 dm cube so what will be the v2 students you have to add this if you add this students you will get the v2 value that is you are going to get 60 if you add students it will become 7 plus 3 that is 0 so 16 dm cube this will be the final vibration so now you know the v2 also 
now you know v1 just put the value students you'll get maximum work done so once again i'm writing students maximum work done formula is nothing but minus 2.303 nrt into log of base 10 of v2 upon v1 now put the value students 0 0.303 into 0 0.3 r is given 8.314 log of base 10 of final volume is given 16 and initial is 13.7 okay students you take the log of this and multiply you will get you will get minus 116.1 joule okay students this will be the maximum work done Mag maximum energy lose by the gas when it will expand understanding students so this way students you have calculated the second part of the answer now students in c part students when it is this everything is happening in vacuum in vacuum students in vacuum p external is zero so since students w max formula is given w max is equals to minus p external into external into delta v since students p external is zero so what happens to zero multiply any quantity will be become zero here the work done will be zero understand students so this way students we have got the work done by the gases this is very important our work done by the system these are very important in examination students they are asking for four marks questions okay if you like my video please share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much have a nice day god bless you